everybody. I'm Dave Abrams. Happy Friday the 13th. <laughs> I'm Kristen Lagana. Welcome to Anne Arundel County Week in Review. In this episode, we'll talk about how local students are getting hands-on training and get an update on Anne Arundel United. But first, making headlines this week. Davidsonville native Travis Pastrana is Your always boy. making us proud. Your boy. Hometown. Well, his latest feat had everyone wowed. At Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Travis donned the iconic Evil Knievel costume and replica bike and proceeded to leap over 52 cars, 16 buses, and the iconic Caesars Fountain. So? So. Big deal. Do that in my sleep. Do that. The longest jump clicked in at 149 feet on a very hot day in the desert where the bike almost overheated. Evil Knievel tried his first jump at Caesars in 1967. Now, when he hit the takeoff ramp, he claimed he felt the motorcycle unexpectedly decelerate. The sudden loss of power on the takeoff caused him to come up short and land on the safety ramp, which was supported by a van. Ouch. This caused the handlebars to be ripped out of his hands as he tumbled over them onto the pavement where he skidded into the dunes parking lot. As a result of the crash, Knievel suffered a crushed pelvis and femur, fractures to his hip, wrist, and both ankles. Ouch and a concussion that kept him in the hospital. Ouch is Ouch right. Ouch again. Yes. Rumors circulated that he was in a coma for 29 days in the hospital, but this was refuted by his wife and others in the documentary film, Being Evil. Thank you. That was very knowledgeable. I know, thanks. The Caesars Palace crash was Knievel's longest attempted motorcycle jump at 141 feet. After his crash and recovery, Knievel was more famous than ever. So Travis beat the record and also didn't get hurt, Dave. Amazing. In uh, fact, Travis was amazing. like, yeah, it looked, it, didn't he make it look so easy? I'm sure that wasn't the intent, but it was just with such ease. And I love that he kept talking about the boots. Yeah. He was so excited about his boots. But I'm telling you, even though. Those boots were made for jumping. And that's just and that's what, what he's going to do. do. Yeah. So these, these, these boots, boots are, are going to jump all over uh, you. <laughs> um, I will say, I, I felt like deep down I knew Travis had it, but watching Did him, you watch it? So you watched it? Like, okay. It was interesting. They had um, Corey Hart and Johnny Knoxville as commentators. So that was really cool to see folks putting in their two cents. And uh, But what really had me nervous, I, I figured Travis probably had this. Watching him kiss his family before the jump and his little little kid, kiddos, I was like, no, don't do it. So, But he did it, and it was brilliant. And, and he looked proud of really him. cool. Yeah. He always manages to look cool, so... And I like, you know, the tribute being evil. So totally it's very cool. cool. Totally cool. Yeah. Well, Kristen, there will be no daredevil jumps up Aww. in Pasadena. But County Executive Steve Shue was up there yesterday to highlight $30 million for road resurfacing in the county. Edwin Rayner Boulevard was the scene, one of the latest projects that is now halfway done. Shue said that when he took office four years ago, the county was way behind in road improvements due to the recession. Since the inception of charter government in the 1960s, the county had never spent enough money on an annual basis to actually maintain our system of roads. So each and every time we constructed a road, that road began a long-term process of deterioration. Three years ago, we changed that when we increased the county road maintenance budget by $9 million from $17 million per year to $26 million per year thereby stabilizing our road system and preventing further deterioration. This year, we took the historic next step by increasing that amount by another $4 million to $30 million total, finally giving us the chance to not only maintain and stabilize the roads, but to actually improve the roads. Now, Edwin Rayner will be done by July 30th, so just a couple weeks away. Now, I don't want you to see out there, you out there testing the new road with your motorcycle, okay? Well, how am I ever going to get on Pastrana's level if I don't practice trying to do 18 buses? I mean, we've talked about this Maybe before, 20. but I understand the Lagana girls have been to the compound once yeah. or twice. We, we are a little wild. But so. you didn't learn how to ride the bikes? <laughs> no. Did you, no, no, no. Do, you don't ride dirt bikes? Um, we Isn't did like four a wheelers. Little thing? We did four wheelers. Okay. I I tried a dirt bike once with my dad. I was very young, and I hit gas and brake at the same time, and oh, we went flying not, backwards. No, you and don't I think do it, it made way. me nervous for the rest. I, I should try and get back on that horse one day. Yeah. Not today. <laughs> I mean, you know what? Have you dirt bikes? 
Uh, no, you know, so I grew up around motorcycles my whole life. My dad always had motorcycles. And he, Mine too, shout out dad. He, my, Carly see, your dad is different than my dad in this way. My dad forbade me from ever touching a motorcycle. Oh, and, my dad and, wanted to take us on the motorcycles all the time. He didn't give it up till I was like maybe 19 or 20 when I was like, I think I want to try this. And I actually got the learners and he let me have this little bike and, you know, I rode around with him a couple times and then I just never, I liked it, but I just, it's no. just not. No. And of course, my dad was like, you don't pay enough attention to be a motorcycle oh, driver. Well, like, I agree you're going to get killed. So. so no Dave Abrams, no. Roadhog Warrior. No, no, no. But I admire, I can definitely appreciate what, what was done there. And that's. Uh, well, an excellent time right now to remind all of our viewers about being safe on the road this season because we are sharing with cyclists. You got to watch for bikes. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do because so. you can't see them they're in your blind spot yep. and remember look. at intersections they can overheat so they might pull to the front that's okay it's okay it's okay it's totally legal so watch out for your fellow cyclists out there on the road good safety message chris thank you we have a big new ad campaign for our 311 mobile app and our team of actors really hit this one out of the park take a look at our ad about fixing broken signs hey did you see that damaged sign down the street what do you think I should call? Oh, that's easy. Just download the 311 app. Anne Arundel County 311 lets you report issues right from your phone. We're free on Google Play and the App Store. Anne Arundel County 311 is at your service. faces in there Dave. right right and voices as voices well too. you did yeah. such a good job Thanks. you always do you hit it out of the park and thank you to everybody who was a part of that yeah we you'd be some... amazed how many people and how much work goes into that oh little, yeah that is a 30 second commercial like and... shot those scenes might have been shot 10 12 times before we found the one that we kept in our DPW guys that came out, they're awesome. Yep. And Brandy and Matt for shooting. We've mm -hmm. seen Brandy and Matt on the show plenty. Yep. And the kiddos. The kiddos, the Brandon and children. And the real star, Yoshi and what's Yoshi's friend's Kristen, name? Kristen, I was hoping you weren't going to bring that up. Um, <laughs> and I have to apologize to Yoshi and Shay. Shay. They yes. did not make the final cut. Oh. Oh. They didn't. They, well, that's but they showbiz. were there that day. That's showbiz for you, they Kristen. Were there that Sometimes day. you just don't make it. They were very cute dogs. I'm they never did. in favor of they cutting the dog job, from the shot. But it just uh, Oof, didn't sorry. land. It just didn't work. Yoshi and Shay, you're still stars in my eyes. That's right. Woof, it's woof. a rough life. It, oh, there it is. I was waiting ah. for the cheesy. Ah. Yeah, okay, very good. Well, we're going to take a quick break, but when we return, we will talk to Tammy Dietrich from Anne Arundel County Public Schools about their internship program. Take a look at our community calendar for events happening around town and we'll be right back. Full of special moments. A cruise? Surprise! Unexpected moments. I got this. Ugh. And even awkward moments. Okay, Dad, thank you. <laughs> but every moment you spend with your kids, <laughs> even the smallest moments, Aww. can make the biggest impact on your child's life. So take a moment to be a dad today. Welcome back. Joining us in the studio this week, we're delighted to have Miss Tammy Dietrich. Tammy, how's it going? It's going well. Thanks. You having a good summer? A beautiful summer, absolutely. Well, we thought since it's summertime, what better to talk about than school? School. 
as all the kids go, no! <laughs> the kids are like, yeah. <laughs> but uh, so yes, this is kind of a way is, to get out of school. This is pretty of. exciting stuff. I love talking about these these programs with our school system. And of course, you're from Anne Arundel County Public Schools. How long have you been with the school system? So I'm finishing my 32nd year with Anne Arundel County Public Schools. And, Congrats. Uh, thank you, you so much. You must like it. I, I love my job. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's been a, it's been a great journey. And uh, yeah, still have a little Tell work to quick, do. Tell us real quick, because you have a good story about that. Yeah. You right. started out with the CAT Center. Right? I did. So I'm a graduate of the Center of Applied um, South. You know. Right by South River. Yes, exactly. Cat South. Yes. I graduated from South River High School, first graduating class that started and went the whole four years, right? So um, so beyond that, I went to work in a salon. I, I took cosmetology and um, got my license before I graduated from high school, which is such a great opportunity for students. So I worked in a salon, and then my teacher called me up and said, hey, we have this great opportunity in Anne Arundel County Public Schools. We think you should apply. And uh, They saw potential. All history from there. So I <laughs> taught at Cat North um, for 18 years. Then I went into the internship program, um, started working with students in work-based learning and internships, and then you know, evolved into the manager of the internship programs for yes, the county. Tell us about your role. So it's a really, it's a really fun job. Um, so I manage all of the internship programs for Anne Arundel County Public Schools. Uh, we have about a thousand students every year who do internships. I have a team of, team of nine that are out and about in the different high schools. And we work with students in every program um, from our career research and development program, which are students who are just kind of figuring out what I'm going to do beyond high school and helping them to get some great job skills yes. to our magnet students in our STEM and biomedical allied health programs and our performing visual arts programs to students who just say, ah, you know, I just think I might want to be, say, a lawyer, and could I intern with a lawyer? Could I have that experience and see what it'd be like before I, I go off to college and commit to a program? So um, it's really fun to watch the kids That's grow. That's such an exciting time. It is. It you're, is. Trying to, you're, you're figuring out what you want to do next, your next mm -hmm. step, and they need guidance, and that's where you come in and your staff. Now tell us about the CAT Centers. There's two. Absolutely. Cat so, South, Cat North. Cat Center for Applied Technology. Yes. Right. And what, is, what does that mean? So it's basically like vocational school. I know that's a word we don't really use anymore. So it's a career in technology school. Career in technology. Right. Okay. So the Center of Applied Technology North is um, right here in near Glen Burnie, in Severin. Um, and then the Center of Applied Technology South is near South River High School. And they have a lot of similar programs, but then they both have some unique programs as well. So, you know, it's anything from cosmetology, culinary arts, into computer-based programs. We have some gaming programs. We have Cisco programs. And then all of the traditional construction and automotive programs printing, precision machining, just so many great things that students can get involved in. And recently we did a really fun thing with students from the Center of Applied Technology South in that we opened a student-run cafe. That's awesome. Yes, so at Maryland Hall, we have a cafe that's open to the public. The students manage it, they do all of the um, food production, they forecast the needs of the cafe. We're open all summer. So come and visit us at um, Maryland Hall. We brew great um, Chesapeake Bay Roasting Company coffee mm, there. So, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we go, to, we're go, gonna go to Maryland Hall and gonna we're gonna go to the cafe out. and we're yep. gonna be like, I'll have a triple tall mocha, espresso, no fat, extra no fat wet, latte. Soy. Yeah. Put him, <laughs> and put see, him to what, the see if the kid can do it, and see if they remember our first names and, and, and right, get them and spell it right. Yeah. That's that's, right. That's really interesting though, because there are so many skills that go into. It's not just being back of house. There's a lot of front of house responsibilities. Absolutely. There's a lot of managing money, managing inventory. So what better way to learn it than actually being in it? It's so cool, and being at Maryland Hall. You know, we're also incorporating the arts right. into our cafe, so our PVA students will be doing some performances there. We're going to have art exhibits there, so it's a great field place. I mean, you just need to go and visit. People need to go visit and, and see for themselves how fun it is I think to we be need there. To. We will. So, so tell us about, so you do internships, and I know you're, 
You're working with us a little bit. We've been talking. Absolutely. We've had some <laughs> yes. meetings. We're, we're very excited about an opportunity to have some students come up to our studio and learn some of the things we do here, mm -hmm. how Kristen makes it so magical. They will learn from right. her. And, um, learn from and you know, not to <laughs> spill the beans, but also Public Works, kind of talking to them a little Absolutely. bit. So tell us about yeah. what kinds of inter internships you have. So, you know, they're so varied. We have about 100 students that go to NSA every year, which is a big deal. That's what amazing. Talk about. I didn't realize oh you sent students there. They don't there. really go there. Yeah. But we can't talk about it. <laughs> they, I, do. They, do. That's, they do. That's really cool. And 100. it's a process, yeah. you know, I mean, yeah. through the interview and the, you know, all of the things that you have to do to be able to get the clearance to work at right. NSA. Um, and what a great experience for the students, you know. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So we have students that, that go to NASA. We have students that go to many of our local businesses right here in Glen Burnie, all throughout the county. Mm -hmm. And they're doing... You know, we have students that are working with engineers. We have students that are, are working in retail, um, just so many. IT, I have students working with me this summer. I, and I have students working with me every summer. So we're writing curriculum. Um, we work very hard during the summer. Teachers don't, you know, don't all have off all summer. Right. But they're busy at Old Mill High School right now writing curriculum to make sure that we have top-notch um, education for our students. So we incorporate these student interns in that process. What better way to see how we can engage students than using the students to do that. So they're there, um, they're helping us to write curriculum, they're researching different types of things that they'd like to see their teachers use in the classroom. And at the end of the summer, they do a presentation and teach the teachers how to use these things. My favorite part of the um, end of the like summer. <laughs> and they just do a, an amazing job. And what are so you talking to Public you. Works about? Just so, basically, we don't want to spill the beans too right? much. Right, so there are a lot of different things that we're talking to Public Works about, you know, wastewater um, technicians and, and, and working in the lab and um, doing all kinds of- Good uh, jobs. Good jobs, yeah. yeah. And career, careers, so yeah. as students- Pension. Exactly. Pension, oh my gosh. And right Kids out of high of school jobs, yeah. you know? And so that they could go into a job, say with Public Works, get training, you know, then go to college or maybe not. I mean, it all depends on what the job requires, but have a really great job and a, and a, and a good career. Well, Chris Phipps, our director, so, shout out to Chris shout Phipps, out Chris. is very excited about this. Oh, so. and we're, we're very excited about it. That's awesome. We've had some interns with them a little bit over, mm -hmm. over the last, you know, couple years, but this is going to be on a much larger scale. And then getting public works into our schools to talk to the kids, to get them excited. Mm -hmm. um, because a lot of students would be like, um, public works, what do they do? And right. why would I want to go there? But front loading with some some um, job shadowing and visits to see all the cool things they do to get the kids excited, it's gonna be really helpful to move that program along, so. Exciting. Yes, yes. So I imagine with all of these different internships, there's a way that they're listed, there's a way to search them. Is, is this a, a portal or? Some way that you can go through all of them. We have an amazing portal. So, and I, I'm so <laughs> brag about your portal. I'm going to brag. It's a national model. Do it. It is. It really is. So, um, we've been working with this website. I'm going to say about eight years, and it has evolved into this amazing tool. Um, in fact, at some point, we're going to have it ready that we're going to be able to have other school systems. You're going to sell it. Yeah. Yeah. be able to, to be a part of that. Um, we're working right now getting it ready and then we're going to pilot it out with a couple of small school systems and that's a student run business as well. So our students have been working on the logo and the marketing and the name for our business which I can't unveil yet. Uh, um, I know so the students at Severna Park High School have been working really hard with this but you know I talk about our portal and I kind of compare it to um, a monster.com or Indeed Right. Com, mm -hmm. um, for Anne Arundel County public school students. So a business can go in and create a business profile, then create opportunities, and our students can see those opportunities and apply right through this portal. So and, any business or organization in Anne Arundel County that wants interns can sign up to this portal and 
here come the interns. Absolutely. You huh? know, there's a little bit in between, but okay, absolutely. Yeah. Not quite I'm sure you have to I check tend, out. I tend yeah. to simplify yeah. things. We yeah. have to make sure, you know, we go out, we visit with the business, and we talk to them, but this portal make sure it's good fit. makes right. it so easy. Cool. So, um, as soon as a student applies, they'll get an email that says, congratulations. They can go in, they can view their resume, and they can contact the student. It's all a very secure system. You know, we don't, we do vet all of the businesses uh, before before they're they're turned on in that system. But the other cool thing is if they say, you know, my business is right next to Glen Burnie High School, and I really want to give back to Glen Burnie High School, and they can jo choose just to advertise to those students. So they don't get a lot of other applications right. and feel like, oh, I hate to turn these kids right. down, but they're focusing right on those students yeah. or focus great. right on a certain program. So That's great. Well, I'll tell yeah. you what, Kristen, we are going to work those kids hard. I want to apply to some <laughs> internships now. It's going to be hard. You should be scared. So I imagine if you're considering it, internship for the upcoming year if you're a parent or a student you might have some questions so what's the Absolutely. best way to reach you or someone about the internship program so the best way to reach me is um, my my email address which is tdietrich at aacps.org um, we also can be found right through the Anne Arundel County Public Schools website so if you click on students you can see internships and go right to our website and be able to contact us there you can call the main number um, for the Board of Ed and ask for Tammy Dietrich and uh, we'll get they'll, they'll 5, con there you go there and you they'll go. connect you right to me and um, I have a fabulous team. They work really hard for the students. They work hard for the parents. And they're working all summer as well. So we have students that are interning all summer. So these are kids well, are taking that. Well, I can see that. why they're doing such excellent hard work yeah. because you are very passionate about this. Uh, so I think your teacher from a while ago that right. nominated you for this uh, position found the right person for the job. Nice so thank person. you. Yeah, thank you for all that you're doing for the county and for the future of the county. And internships are a great way to get your name out there and, and get your foot in the door with some great jobs. Oh, so. absolutely. Yeah, well, thank you so much for stopping by, Tammy. Nice to see you. Have a great summer. And please come back. We, we love hearing about this. And, of course, when we have our DPW internships, we should recap on that as well. Absolutely. Yeah, let's do that. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back with more Week in Review right after this. Don't go anywhere. Hey, let's check out this park. Oh, wow. That's really cool. To find a great local park or forest near you, go to discovertheforest.org. Welcome back. Anne Arundel United is really taking off with its monthly coffee club. Sarah Gannon has more from Annapolis. Sarah? Thanks, guys. Joining me today is Derek Matthews uh, from Anne Arundel United. Hi, Derek. Nice Hi, to see Sarah. you. Nice to see you as well. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, Anne Arundel United? Okay, so Anne Arundel United is a campaign that we came up with to, initially it was to talk about racism specifically and try to combat some of the tough discussions and some of the stress that we were having in the county. But now it's grown into us being able to move about the county geographically. We've started these coffee gatherings, if you will. So we hit topics from race to sex trafficking to active shooter to... Wow having all kinds of discussions that are sometimes very difficult for people that don't know each other to actually have. So that's what we've grown into. Breaking the barrier, breaking, uh, breaking the, barrier. the ice, that's a good, whatever that's a you want to. <laughs> so what do you have coming up um, in the summer, in the fall? What's coming up for Anne Arundel? Going on, Sarah. Yeah. Probably the easiest way for me to say it is for folks to go to AA United. Uh, AnneArundelCounty.org slash AAUnited. I know off the top of my head, uh, July 14th, which is this week, mm -hmm. we've got uh, a lot of big Frederick Douglass activities going on actually this month, this summer, and throughout the year, this being 2018. Um, so at the Crofton Library, we're doing something for Frederick Douglass to kind of bring people some more history about who he was and what he did, uh, et cetera. Um, and that's pretty much what I can name off the top of my head. But and if they go to that site, Sarah, everything's there. Okay, and you can also contact the library for information, too. Absolutely. They have the information on hand that can help you, help direct you to where you need to go and what time and everything. Absolutely. And Sarah, I also want to throw out while we're standing here chit-chatting that Anne Arundel United actually just received a uh, national award 
uh, from the Association of Counties for our innovation in what we're doing with these coffee gatherings and bringing people together to have those ice-breaking conversations. So kudos to Steve Shu for cutting me loose and letting us do this. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And um, that's through the Mako. Correct. 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 Very good. Well, anything else you want to share with us? No, I mean, I don't think we have time for what we're doing <laughs> uh, to talk about everything. But I think we're, we're making strides to continue to make this the best county to uh, start a business, live, and, and you know, and, and be residents of Anne Arundel County. So I'm just excited. Well, thank, thank you for all that you do. Okay. And you. Uh, we're going to send it back to the studio. Okay, thank you. Back to you. Thanks, Sarah and Derek. If you want to learn more about Anne Arundel United, check out Derek's show Real Talk or go to aacounty.org slash united. How do you take your coffee? Are you just straight like... I'm a, I'm a two creams, two sugar guy. Two cream, two sugar? Yep. I actually, I stopped by 7-Eleven before we had a meeting in Linthicum okay. this week. And I think I ended up having a cream and sugar drink rather than a coffee, a coffee drink. You just filled it way too I high. I think I got it. a lot of, like I was Ew. looking at it and I was like, yeah. that looks pretty light. Now if, you it know, was not delicious. just day to day, but say you're doing like, you you want a fancy coffee, you go outside your box, what's your normal order? Like if you treat yourself to a Starbucks or you're, you're at a legit coffee place and you want. I'm not very exciting. I, I pretty much um, in the winter time I get my caramel latte and in the summertime I get iced coffee. Um, but I do like a good espresso every yeah. now and then. I'm a Cortado fan. I, like I that. just got a French press. Oh, excellent. You're, I love French press. You're a big press. French press person, yes, right? Yes, we love French press coffee in our house, and we do it on the weekends. Um, it looks kind of weird, though. Uh, no, it's, it's easy. It's no, delicious. No, it looks, the it, coffee oh, it looks, looks weird. weird. Yes, yes, You yes. have to get used to it. It's kind of, it's not that nice mocha color. It's like a kind of black it's very dark but it's gray. very tasty yeah. i like it so and i'll do uh especially in the summer i like the nitro cold brews wherever those are available oh yes so yes i like that and well uh, that's iced coffee well it's a little different the way it's pressurized you get a lot more espresso with it so it's delicious so do you have any tips for newbie french press people like what are some some rules of the road let will do it will is not going to be there to help me talk to chuck Talk to Chuck. I'll call Chuck. <laughs> call Chuck. I'm going to call Chuck. We'll FaceTime. 210 I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm going to FaceTime Chuck. <laughs> Google it. I never make the French press. It's always Will. It's, But get a milk frother. You should definitely do that. And I have tried it, Chuck. It's delish. Can you froth milk just in a pan? Can you just put it in like no, a frost you, pan? No, no, no. Uh, no, you can't. No, you can't do Chuck that. Chuck is shaking his head no, no, no. saying you're an idiot. So, no, okay. he's not saying that. Maybe yeah, no, inside he's he's thinks saying I'm an idiot. He's he does. It, he does. But. That's okay. I can live with it. But yeah, treat yourself to some good iced coffee this yeah, summer. Yeah, folks, go out there. Do it on. Do it yeah. for us. We're, yeah. we'll, we'll treat. Stop by and talk Christian to Derek with Christian. your coffee. Talk to Derek. Have some coffee. They'll Have talk. Have some coffee. Talk. Have some coffee. Talk. Coffee talk. It's You talk with the coffee. Sometimes you get a dahatka in your Ganectica zoin. And then you're feeling verklempt. We're so old. We are old. Well, that wraps up this week's edition of Week in Review. You can watch this episode and archive episodes online anytime on Facebook or YouTube by simply searching for Arundel TV or search the App Store for Anne Arundel 311. That's Please my line. I know. Please <laughs> tune in again next week for more highlights and news from around the county, and we'll be seeing you next time.